Hello everyone, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to Ultimate General Civil War. We're in the final campaign of a Confederate Let's Play. This is actually part 56 of this series, and we're in the process of beginning the drive on Washington. We're fighting the Battle of Halls Ferry, which is a hypothetical Confederate reconquest of Vicksburg, uh, and it's the first of two minor battles which take place before the final assault on Washington in the Confederate campaign in the Grand Campaign for Ultimate General Civil War. In our last video, we played the first part of the Battle of Hall's Ferry. We started to break the Union left flank. We took the first objective. We have two more we need to take, but they're heavily entrenched in heavily wooded areas. And we're trying a wide swing around the Federal left to avoid as much as possible the uh, intensive fortifications that the Federals have between us and them. The image you see in front of you is from a still which was taken in the last second of that uh, last episode. So I'm going to go ahead and jump back in. This was taken from a live stream from uh, a couple of weeks ago now, probably. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and jump back in. From here on out, you will hear myself from the live stream. Sit back, relax, and enjoy, guys. Matthews and Laura are moving up to try and... I don't know if they're trying to counterattack or what exactly they're trying to do. My goot's getting shot up as well, so we've got a couple of brigades that are starting to uh, lose quite a few men. Burbridge is advancing. Maniac. Alright, they've got some skirmishers. We'll go ahead and chase them out of the wood line. He's not in very good cover. Let's move you up here. All right, we're going to pause here in just a moment as we kind of regroup. Let's see, we just drove them off their sort of short-lived counterattack. I want Vaughn up there. Avril, Wilcox... Stonewall, Machine Gun Brigade. All of these guys are coming up now here. Alright. Let's go ahead and pause. What do we need to do to be victorious here? We need to hold all three objectives. We've got about three hours left, so about three-fourths of the time. Uh, J Street, this is the Battle of Halls Ferry Road, which is the first in the uh, Washington campaign. I don't think there are Gatling guns in the game. I've never seen them in any event. Um, there's a whole bunch of works between us and them. Might be worth... softening them up in the front a little bit. At least when we do eventually attack them, having some troops on the other flank might be worthwhile. So I'm not using a lot of my troops, and I don't envision needing a lot of them. So we're going to go ahead and advance some troops over here onto the flank, try and provide some assistance, uh, at least, at the very least, pinning the enemy in place. So... Stockton's lost a few hundred. I mean, several of these brigades have lost some casualties. Moore's lost quite a few. Uh, but they're doing a good job, I think, of weakening the enemy here. So Doles is trying to chase off some of these skirmishers. He's taking some casualties and doing it. The enemy's almost got a circular line up on this position here. So that's the challenge. Um, I think what we do here is we just kind of let Doles deal with the left flank and the skirmishers. Although it looks like he's about to retreat. So maybe we shake some skirmishers off Vaughn as well and kind of address them toward the, those other flanks. Uh, we'll move Wilcox, Avril, and we'll have Race continue to focus on it. Looks like they've got a, a brigade under Stevenson's here. Uh, machine gun brigade would probably be useful, although I don't want them to lose casualties because we don't have any more guns of theirs. Let's go ahead and get our artillery up on this hill so we can start shooting at the enemy from there. It'll take them a while to get into position, but um, I'd rather have them close in. They definitely helped as we kind of broke through on the left, 
Um, I'm also going to move right up here out of his works. Uh, he'll be replaced by Reed, who's lost over 900 men and not done anything. So that was my, my mistake, mismanagement there. Um, yeah, let's see how this all kind of unfolds. These guys are all focusing on Stevenson. I'll advance Pickett a bit. I'll advance the Alabama Brigade. So Doles was pushed back. We're really going to focus our fire on Stevenson here. Once he's pushed out of his position, taking this left salient will be much more easy. Or much easier. There you go. He is being driven back. We'll let him take some serious casualties here, and then we'll advance the Texas Brigade and Pickett and the Alabama Brigade to deal with this um, enemy artillery, which again is the serious threat, if you will. Wilcox, fire a volley into Boomer's Brigade. Vaughn and Avril will both volley him. We need to try and keep our spacing as best as we can. You know what? Why don't you volley there? There you go. That volley did it. Boomer's being driven out as well. And again, when they retreat, that's when they really start to lose those heavy casualties. Once they're out of their works. Same for that artillery battery. Oh, shoot. I just stole a volley from you. Bama Brigade's routing. Alright, let's get these guys up into these trees. Bulls go that way. Some of these lead brigades that have been kind of carrying our attack for a while here are starting to suffer a bit. But we're going to pursue up this left flank. What do we all have not doing anything back here? My commander, several brigades of infantry... These reserves at least need to get closer to the action. I'm holding my right wing kind of in place for my eventual assault on the main objective. But I'm looking at getting some of these brigades into position here. I don't want them too crammed in. So that's a challenge here. We don't have a lot of space to work with. Okay, volley that artillery. Put the artillery out of here. There you go. Okay, the enemy infantry there is being thrown back. Boomer's brigade over here. Doles is kind of advancing. And again, it's getting a little bit congested. Got some reserves coming up. Lane is under some artillery fire, so I think we're going to move him forward. Same for more. Wright is losing a lot more men than I'd like, but at least the enemy guns are shooting at him and not someone actually doing something. Alright, so the left wing is being overrun slowly and at higher cost than I would like. Halt. Just shoot at the damn guys. Just shoot your damn guns. What you got them for. So Wilcox advancing here. What are you flanked by? Enemy cavalry? Alright, so they're actually kind of stacked up, I think, inefficiently. Again, my Henrys are not doing a good job. A lot of their brigades are weak down to 500 or so men. But this is kind of where things get a little bit dicey. We'll advance a little bit. And try and flank them. We just secured the West Redoubt, which I think secures at least a draw for us. Assuming we hang on to it. Evan, you go in here. Alright. 
So we're starting to outflank him on the left. On the right, or on the right, they're a little bit more secure on the left. All right, they're launching a charge. I don't know if there's a lot that I can do in here. Guinness. So they drove Pickett back with a charge of about 1,100 men. I do not want you guys meleeing with your Henry rifles. Does that even have a bayonet holder? Alright. Let's move some more of these troops forward. Jackson's brigade is completely fresh. We just need the one more objective. I don't know if any of our troops ever got into position. Alright. I'm gonna get in position now. These are more intended to hold the enemy in place, these troops, than they are actually attacking them. Put them in the back. Okay. We'll start advancing here, kind of on the hinge of our advance. Again, we've got a lot of troops not doing anything, but we also don't have a lot of space for them all to do things. This artillery forward here. Stockton, Beale, Johnson, come on, provide some some help. Okay. All right, we kind of broke their flank by the looks of it. All right, so it looks like we managed to drive back most of their infantry. I'm going to focus in on what's left of their force here, specifically the artillery. Because that's the real thing I'm worried about. About to advance. Go ahead and flank these guys. Move this artillery up close as best as we can. I want to get close range fire here. Again, kind of the Napoleonic idea of using your artillery up close for close support. Okay, we've got about two hours left. We've at least assured a draw. Trying to swing around their flank, but these guys are proving a bit of a thorn in my side. The other problem is the terrain here just doesn't really cooperate, ideally. Okay. And some of their brigades are not dying as quickly as I would expect them to. Have we destroyed half their army yet? No? Alright. Reed, geez, you've been slaughtered today. All right. How is Lawler not dead yet? There he goes. There he goes. All right. Vance. Well, the attack started off well enough. Stonewall Brigade just destroyed that artillery battery. All 
All right, we're going to focus on trying to break Vander's brigade. Now that we've kind of secured our left flank and driven off these troops, now we can focus on sort of an attack at the hinge between these two units. So that our infantry brigade just died. This artillery battery is about to die. And now we can start moving in here. Reed's brigade, jeez. You're just dying. Move you up here. Reed should withdraw. I goot, Stockton, Langton. Alright, so we broke Vander already. Let's go ahead and focus in on this artillery now. And advance some troops up this slope. Plenty of federal artillery here between us and them. Another general wounded. What am I all not using? Quite a bit. That's right here. Stonewall Brigade, take out McGinney. Oh god, Hall's coming on your flank. On Barksdale's flank. Well, they're not shooting at the ones I wanted them to shoot at. In any event, we did break through. Now we need to advance up the hill line toward the objective. We got about an hour left. I see no reason why we shouldn't do it. Most of these guys are in good condition. Let's just get up the hillside. Let's do it in a hurry. There's not much between us and the objective. There is some artillery. We're going to eat some canister on our way. This looks like a pretty steep hill. Keep advancing over here. We'll bring one brigade back on the objective. Should make sure I've got at least one other brigade on the other objective. I know they've got some cavalry, so they could certainly sweep around our flank or something. Why don't you guys volley at this artillery and take it out? So the casualties started mounting pretty rapidly, it feels like. As we kind of transitioned more into kind of outright attack, but... Not sure it can be helped much. Alright, that battery of artillery is routing. Why aren't you shooting at them? They're right in your field of fire. You're not blocked. All right. Oh boy. Lots of artillery. Hogue's morale is too low, that's why. All right, Revere, Alabama Brigade, you guys do your work here. Race, you guys are closing in on whatever his name is, Vanderver. Okay, that brigade's routing. Ransom's trying to retake some of these fortification positions. We drove off another artillery battery, so keep up the pressure, keep moving in. Man, this is bloody. All right, get this artillery all up the hill. Get in close. I think we've probably done the 50... How have we not inflicted 50% casualties on the enemy? Or is it 50% more? No, it's just 50%. I don't know how that's possible. That we haven't. Maybe we already have and it just doesn't want to tell us. Alright, so we're closing in on the objective. We got about an hour left. God damn artillery. Alright, so we broke them. And.
Alright, so their artillery is starting to run out of ammunition as well. So... Oh boy, I didn't mean to melee there. So we've taken the works. I don't know how, but supposedly we've taken the works. Presumably this will trigger some kind of... Alright, they just retook the works. I was going to say, usually this, you know, when you take that last objective, it kind of triggers a desperate federal counterattack. you shoot the guys that are in front of you? Such a weird angle that some of these guys are shooting at. Right, some of this artillery is being driven off. We took it. Now they take it. Now we take it. Way too many troops and way too narrow a place. God damn artillery. Stop canistering us. Alright, destroy that battery. Get it! Alright, two batteries retreating. They've got two strong ones left in front of us. Raise the machine guns. We just need to hang on for another 30 minutes or 20 minutes or whatever it is. Bring the infantry forward. Alright, that battery's done. I just don't want to take 20 more minutes of punishment here. That's the that's the real crux of it. Most of my brigades of a lot of my brigades have lost just shy of 50% strength. What about All right. Johnson has lost 30% of his corps. So that's about 10,000 men. And I've lost about almost 20% of my corps. So we've lost less than 20,000 men, which is the amount of reinforcements we get. But we've also got 25 minutes to go. Uh, we have not yet inflicted 50% casualties yet. Huh. Not sure about that one. Alright. Try and get a, in a damn line here. So that you're not all jumbled together here. You're in 80% cover. You should be relatively safe. More and more charging and mailing. Alright, we drove that artillery back. Really, it's just spear? Spoor's battery over here is kind of doing a little bit of damage, but... 13 minutes left. Can they destroy McGinn's brigade here? Hmm. Victory! There you go. We lost 15,000 men, which all things considered wasn't that bad. I'm surprised they only lost 17,000. I guess with all the uh, entrenchments they had, it was closer to a one-to-one, -one, which was not great. But again, that's 17,000 out of their up to 80,000. We'll see if it drops into around 160. We should also come out stronger because of our uh, reinforcement pool we get for winning a victory. In terms of goods, we captured 2,71861 Springfields, so that'll be nice to have. Um... We captured 18 12-pound howitzers, which I'll sell, 11 20-pound 20 20 parrots, which I'll use. 
some 24 pound howitzers. So overall, a relatively successful battle at, is it, am I butcheristic to say at not too steep a cost? Again, we lost fewer men than we, uh, than we get, so that's always good. What, what general? Well, I'm going to do 10, so I, I will give you a hint in that if you watch the trailer, uh, at least one of the generals that uh, was in that trailer or that announcement video will be in the series. So that's the hint you'll get. Um, let's do a little bit better reconnaissance, maybe. Level requires four points. Starting army size, core division unit numbers, current army strength during battle. All right, we'll do that. Okay, It'll be nice to know a little bit more about our opponents going into the fight. Um, we got $200,000, so we're going to have to spend some of that on replacing these Fayetteville losses. Yes, Machine gun brigade can't get... Well, we can get 222 casualties replaced because uh, we have 222 weapons that we rescued. I'll all be free. Ah, damn it! I made him a two star rather than a three star. I wasn't paying attention. Whatever. Let's go through here, replace our casualties, and then see where we're at. Yes, sir. Some of these brigades lost damn heavy losses. These guys are all gonna have to be vets too. Thank God, we got two hundred thousand dollars to play with. Uh, we'll add one more gun to this battery. Make them veterans. It's a three-star battery. I think that's my only three-star battery. I'll add two more guns to this battery. Two more to this battery. Giving them veterans, of course. Maybe 14-gun batteries will work out for us. I need a helmet! All right. Almost all the way here. So now we got to replace our casualties in the second core. We've still got 17,000 men to do it. Plenty of money still. Most of these, uh, I haven't yet had to use a single veteran in this core yet. Oh, gonna have to use some here. Sir, yes, sir. Wow, that brigade lost a lot. Sir, All right, Brigadier General Allen. So the one thing I probably am going to do in this in, in this next preliminary battle yeah. is burn through all our good commanders. Maybe I should have given them crappy commanders in that fight just to preserve them, you know, to preserve the, the major generals for the final assault because we're already eating into our colonel supply, and I don't think any of the guys that we lost wounded get to come back before the end of the game. All right. $10,000 for them. $400. Yes, oh, damn. We lost a division commander, too? We'll hire a brigadier. We've got plenty of major generals. Let's move the major general into com There's no reason we should have a brigadier in charge of a division if we don't need to. And replace that colonel with a brigadier. And this brigade with a colonel. So our massive glut of leadership was uh, somewhat exposed by that last fight. Let's see where we're at here in just a moment. Yes, sir. Almost done going through these guys. Bump them back up to 14 guns. These guys to 18 guns. Alright, so the first core, 32,000... Oh, wait, what's... what's sh Oh, the machine gun brigade. That's two. We don't have enough guns for them. So the machine gun brigade means the first core is about 200 men weaker than it was going in. Second core is full strength, 32,000 men. And we've still got 9,000 soldiers for the third core. So we'll go ahead and... Place their losses from Cold Harbor and see what we have left over to play with to, to make them even stronger. We've got about 
We got enough for three infantry brigades, so that's what we'll do. We'll use colonels to be in charge. We'll give them... What guns do we have that are good? It's like we don't have enough. Uh, 1855. We can buy some. So we'll give them... One of the brigades will be armed with 1855s. Buy a colonel for this brigade. Could go with Lorenz's, but I'd rather buy it. We've got the money, I think. It's Richmond's? Not quite. We will have the money in a second. Let's go ahead and sell these sharps that we just stole. These Franken-Wessons, these Manyards. And we'll have the money now. So we'll go back to that third core. Go back to buying that uh, Brigade's Colonel. Yes, sir. And we'll give him CS Richmond rifles, which are very good weapons. Actually, it might make more sense just to give him 18... Uh, yeah, we'll do CS Richmond's. So that'll be $59,000 for them. Means we don't have much money left over for the last brigade we're going to build. Um, do I want to use Lorenz's or do I want to use something else? Got the Lorenz's in stock, so I guess we might as well just use them. They're not terrible weapons. Lorenz gets a bad rap. Go ahead and buy another tenant. Another full bird colonel, and there you go. Each of these brigades needs a trait. They're all going to get discipline. And we've got three fresh brigades ready for the meat grinder of the final battle of Washington. I don't think they'll see action in this next fight. I think it's, again, it's a two-star, two-brigade, sorry, two-core action. But in any event, the third core is now at 14,000 men, uh, while the second and first are around 30,000 men. I think that means our total army is up to around, let's see what it is. We'll go to Washington. We're not actually going to fight, but we'll go to Washington here. And if we were to assign all of these brigades... Oh, what the hell? You need you could have up to five cores. In any event, we've got 83,000 men uh, that we can bring to bear. It says the enemy only has 59,000 men. I don't know if I believe that. Do we really think that there are only 59,000 men? It tells us we get the starting army size. But that seems like a really small force to pull from 160,000. Maybe it does that just to make things easier on us. It, it gives them a, a scaled down army just so we can uh, not have to fight too heavy an enemy as we go into the forts of Washington. I'm not really sure. Um, in any event, I think I still want to fight the next battle before we get to Washington. So you can see here... We've got the Battle of Hardin Pike to fight. So the Army of Tennessee has contested or conducted a series of battles in Western in the Western Theater in order to eliminate the Union pre presence in Tennessee, Alabama, and Northwest Georgia. The Federal forces were driven uh, out of most of their positions. However, the Army of Tennessee suffered heavy casualties, and operations uh, are almost stalled. Nashville is Union, the Union's last foothold in Tennessee. You've been ordered to move your army into the area and to finish the job. If Nashville is secured, then we can focus our planning of our major attack against Washington and ending the war. You will lead two of your best corps against the federal fortifications. The rest of your army will seize the railroad and cut off Nashville from Murfreesboro, Franklin, and Johnsonville. So basically this assumes we destroyed a Union army in Vicksburg. We're trying to destroy a Union army in Nashville. Both of those reverses in the Western Theater will make an actual frontal assault on Washington possible. And assuming the Battle of Cold Harbor ended the assault on Richmond, uh, that's kind of the storyline the game seems to be following. All right, everybody, that's going to do it for this episode 56 of Ultimate General Civil War from the Confederate Campaign. We have reconquered Vicksburg with our victory at the Battle of Hall's Ferry, and the next battle is the Battle of Hardin Pike, which will allow us to retake Nashville, and at least according to the storyline this game is following, it will liberate the final Confederate capital of Union presence. That will be the final battle before we move on Washington itself and try to win the game in one climactic battle. With that being said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and sign off here today. In our next video, we'll look at the Battle of Harden Pike. But until then, this is the Historical Gamer saying thank you for watching, and I'm out.